the wall. This is Artifacts of Mars. And this is a follow-up to the uh, kerosene issue where the kerosene is bad. I think I found the answer. It seems to have originated in the European Patent Office. Uh, you're looking at the page. I'm going to read what this says. The mention relates to an additive compositions that improve the combustion qualities of liquid fuel containing the same, which is BS. Said liquid fuel being the burning being of the burning kerosene, burning oil, lamp oil, or heating gas oil type. The aforementioned additive containing liquid fuels are suitable f for use as fuels for heating appliances and fixed energy pr production devices. And devices used to supply power required for cooking or any type of heating system, domestic boilers, atomizing burner, vaporizing stoves, in particular those operating with a sleeve burner and more specifically AGA or Rayburn boilers, cookers, and cooking or heating devices. The rest is in French, which I can't really read. So, here's the information on it. Publication number W O four slash twenty thirteen four slash O three O two nine five. What I realized last night at work, and this was a this was the turning point, is that they must have added surfactants to the kerosene. You don't know what a surfactant is. There's a long technical explanation as to what this would do. But basically, it would accumulate in the wick and eventually clog it to the point where the kerosene wouldn't be able to uh, take advantage of what's known as capillary action. I'm going to give you the cliff. That's the cliff uh, notes version of it. Cliff's notes. This is all in French. We'll see if we'll see if we can get this translated. Yeah, uh, here's the translation. Present invention provides superior fuel composed of burning kerosene type of fuel or fuel burning oil or kerosene and heating fuel and it's an additive composition. The high quality fuel is used for, do, for producing energy for heating or family or collective use cooking. Type of burning kerosene or liquid fuels that have distillation temperatures between those petrol and diesel and those properties are rather similar to those of diesel. They're very present on the Anglo-Saxon market. The two categories of BUK are available on the market. C2 class BUK according to British standards BS 2869 or BUK class C1 uh, Here's what they've added. To avoid excessive degradation of combustion quality over time, manufacturers of these devices call for the maintenance of the combustion system every six months. In some cases, more frequent maintenance is necessary before six months to use. Solve these problems and increase time interval between maintenances. EP2147966 has proposed an additive composition comprising liquid fuel, at least one antioxidant of phenol or amine, preferably phenol amine, at least one metal passivator, at least one metal sequestrant such as, I'm not going to read that, including a sequestering copper, at least one corrosive agent. He's added anti-corrosive agent.
excuse me. These additive compositions, although exhibiting certain operating conditions and a very good performance for maintaining the quality of combustion may suffer in some cases the high temperature of thermal cracking which in inhibits the efficacy of the additive results in a blocker of blockage of the burner supply circuit or sleeve and or the great residue formation during thermal cracking. Well, this is a bunch of gobbledygook. Like I said, they've had surfactants. See, a surfactant, capillary action, if you're not familiar, is something where if, if you had a tiny stripe stick in water, it'll, sti uh, it'll look like it's climbing up the walls of the uh, straw. And the reason it does that is because of something called surface tension. What a surfactant does is it breaks down that surface tension and thus destroys capillary action. So this gunk that they've put in there basically is destroying the capillary action in the wicks. The wicks really aren't getting fouled per se. They are not. don't have a bunch of carbon build up on them. What's happening is they're getting gunked up by this stuff. I don't know if this stuff is uh, can be washed out or not. That's the thing. It'd be a major, major hassle. I'm gonna have to look up some of these chemicals, see what they do. But I have no doubt. I found the answer right here. To me, it looks like Agenda 21. There's a whole bunch of chemicals I'm not familiar with, but my thinking is this is Agenda 21. Somebody, that, some bureaucrat somewhere decided to that all the fuel had to have the stuff in it in order to uh, fulfill some better burning purpose and in the process they fouled up the kerosene. I can't get anybody to admit this. But, uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around to a few places, and when they start denying it, I'm going to show them this information. Because, liberalism is a mental disorder. I think this is probably Agenda 21. I can't prove it yet. I'm going to stay on it, but I solved at least part of this mystery. I gotta look up these different chemicals to see what they do, but I have no doubt. Liberalism is a mental disorder. I've definitely found what I was looking for. Now I have to find out who ordered it put into our kerosene. This is Artifacts of Mars. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Thanks for watching.